Our next guest is Nikki Biagirelli from Hospice of the Panhandle. Nikki, good morning to you. Good morning. I have with me, of course, Maria Lawrenson and uh, Bill Stubblefield. I think you know them both quite well. <laughs> good morning, Nikki. Good, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Maria. How are you all? And good. Maria, you helped set this one up, so why don't you do the intro? Sure. Um, so uh, Nikki is going to talk about um, our Light Up a Life celebration, which actually begins Friday night in Berkeley Springs, Sunday at our campus in Kearneysville, Tuesday in um, uh, in Romney. Um, all celebrations, all the little ceremonies start at 515. And, and Nikki, I'll let you um, talk about why this is your favorite hospice celebration. Yes, it's absolutely my favorite. Just a really great way for to remember or honor a loved one um, for the community uh, at this time of year, especially at the holiday. You know, the holidays are certainly a time that bring um, joy and togetherness, but for many of us and for the people that we've served or, you know, maybe lost in the community, it's also a time of quiet reflection, uh, I think, as we feel the absence of those we loved so deeply and um, by lighting the luminaries or the circle of light or dedicating, you know, an angel. Um, they're really symbols of um, enduring light that was, you know, brought to our lives um, by those loved ones. And so um, just a really great way to remember someone um, during the holiday season, for sure. It is um, possibly uh, one of the the most labor intensive things that we do as well. Um, but what I love is watching people come in and, um, and make a very strategic point to go and find their loved ones luminary to stay on campus, listen to all the names being read. Um, it's, it's really a very moving experience in addition to, it being a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, let me let me pick up on two of those points, Maria. One, a lot of work. There's the uh, the backbone of hospice are the volunteers. Oh my and gosh! I, I'm sure you'll come back to speak to that. But also looking for a loved one's luminary. There are volunteers scattered throughout that makes that job much 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 easier. So you do not have to spend and bending over and looking at. <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of them there's someone that will direct you right to your uh to your loved one absolutely they, they are strategically placed though and alphabetized as well mm -hmm. so as you can imagine our main office on our campus in kearneysville there are well over a thousand luminaries so by having those alphabetized certainly makes things a little easier um, when folks are wanting to um you know, to go find their their loved one's name. And people always enjoy that. While you can't take the luminary with you, you can take your tag um, or your angel um, with you. So that's always helpful as well. And I, you know, somebody came in my office yesterday and I always dedicate um, angels. Now I've moved to circles of light, but on my tree at the office, and because I've been doing this a number of years, on my tree at home are my parents' names, my in-laws' names. And it's, as you say, Nikki, it's just a wonderful way to reflect. Um, for me, um, I lost all of them many years ago, but it's still a way to bring them back into the holiday season. And not only are they on the luminaries, they're also the names are read out That's right. individually. So. That's right. Is there anything else you wanted to get across on that, Nikki? Uh, no, I think, you know, it's always interesting, too. So um, I've been home before and talked about my experience with the organization, but, you know, January, I celebrate 15 years. It's always interesting, too, that... You know, sometimes I hear the names of patients that I took care of um, or see patients' family members from years ago that continue to show up every single year, um, certainly. So it's just a meaningful way, um, again, remembering those um, that we've lost and certainly at the, the holiday season and just allowing us to carry, you know, their light forward with us and keeping their memory alive and their love alive through the holiday season. And if you still want to dedicate a luminary, an angel, a circle of light, you can do that online. Um, we did sort of, um, I don't want to say shut down, but um, we took them until Monday 
you know, via mail, whatever. But if somebody has a question and wants to get a luminary, they can still do so. Can just call the main number 264-0406 or go online and just donate right there. You might not be alphabetized from <laughs> from here on in, but we'll find, um, we'll put your luminary um, in the display for certain. Yeah. And the website is hospiceotp.org. Um, you know, the other thing, Maria, I, I would be remiss not to just, again, express my gratitude and generosity from the great people who make this work possible. But a huge thank you to all of our sponsors um, that have helped make this event possible, too. And so all of our sponsors for this event as well are listed on our website. So if you go to our website, again, you can um, still, it's not too late, um, be able to um, get an, a, a luminary or an angel or a circle of light, but also our wonderful sponsors are listed there as well. So thank you to them. And one of the things that we added a couple years ago was photographs. So in addition to all of the lights that are illuminating the the campus you can add your loved one's photograph i mean we're not quite disney world um but they are displayed um in sequence up on um up on our windows so that's it i don't know if nikki had a follow up on that or not uh by the way yesterday was giving tuesday yes uh did uh, hospice participate in that and and do you continue to accept donations as, as the year comes to a close obviously the end of the year is a huge time to um you know for people to make donations to hospice of the panhandle any other nonprofits. we are participating in a cool little program called lights on the lake yes um again we had a donor yesterday who the first eight hundred dollars was going to be matched um at a hundred dollars a piece well we of course got in on that on that deal but our tree is beautiful it was decorated by dr sarah phillips um, it has a story about all of the patients that she has cared for over the years. Um, very meaningful. Go out to Shenandoah, see all the trees, um, and then vote for Hospice of the Panhandle. Nikki, Sorry. 60 seconds left. 30 of them are yours. What would you like to say? I, just really my gratitude um, and generosity. I always tell people this work um, and the generosity from the community, support from the community would not be possible um, without... Um, just the great people in the community that make it possible for us. So again, a great way to remember your loved ones at the holidays and it's not too late. So Appreciate go to our website, hospiceotp.org or call our main office, 304-264-0406. You're a pro. That was right at 30 seconds too. Great job, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.